as they step into the F logo and we are set to get underway and right off the tap a layup is missed. Tietzema gets the rebound. Reavers brings it up. JV lost 59-39. But they looked much better in the second half than the first. Joe Marshall's playing a man defense. Rebels trying to figure out how they want to attack it. Rice plays catch with Reavers. Such a screen that was not used. And there's a turnover. Next year, the 35-second shot clock comes into play. Coach Bardall told me he does not think it'll matter. Person was in the lane quite a while. As Reavers will bring it across the F logo. Left to right on your screen. Sitsuma goes to the basket, does a good job, and gets fouled, and she's going to go to the free throw line. She got that angle. The official going to make sure she was ready, I guess. She made the free throw. Three point play the old fashioned way. The Falcons lead it 3 0. One thing that's changed since I was a kid is there's a steal. That was a carry of the ball. Williams gets it out front. Reyes has the ball poked away. It's going to go out of bounds. Good spacing on the floor here for Farrell And they got in some trouble there, and they're going to have a foul on John Marshall. Mullenbach. Yeah, now he. Got another foul on John Marshall. Going to be on. Akins. So Reavers will get to go to the line. So far, Faribault's perfecto on their free throws. Jamie Adamic checking in. And I jinxed her. You can blame me. Nice rebound by Raz, but she dribbled into a trap and fell down and turned the ball over. And here's a shot in the lane. It's no good. <laughs> They're battling for that ball. Rice comes out of there with it. Williams bounces it out front to Rice, swings it over to Reavers, behind the back dribble. John Marshall trying to get after it on defense, but so far it's caused them some foul trouble. We got a tie up here. 
possession arrow stays with the Falcons. Checking in for John Marshall is going to be Madeline Gordon, the sophomore. The name like Gordon, you know, she's going to be a good player. Reyes went in for a layup and so she'll inbound it here. Has a big old black ankle brace on her right ankle. Nice pass and a layup for Williams. Beautiful inbounds play by the Falcons. Make it six nothing Farrell ball. There's a triple top of the key, no good. Rebound taken down, put back up and in. Meister makes it, the sophomore. Verbal up 6 2. This figures to be a lower scoring game. Rice. One thing Faribault's without their leading scorer, Isabel Herta. Well, they're in trouble again. That's a jump ball to Jack Marshall. Dietzema is going to check back in. Reavers is going to get a breather. Jasmine Dang is an eighth grader. Where's number three for JM? There's a triple. No good. Another good rebound by Ryan. I love the way she goes after the ball. Just kind of snuck in there behind that much taller person and got the rebound. I love it. So JM's going to put some pressure on here. You don't want to over dribble against this. Well, he backed off. Dominic had the right idea, just couldn't finish, and there's a floater up, missed everything. Rebound taken down by Rice. Dominic brings it up, dribbles to the middle of the floor. Reyes can't make the catch, but tracks it down, takes the ball, passes it underneath. There's a shot from five, and it's good. Maybe ten. Dominic hits the open jumper. 8-2 Falcons. Stacy Mullenbach dribbles to her right. And off goes to the eighth grader. They get in the corner. So far, it's been pretty much one and done for JM. They've done a nice job on the glass. She backed her down and got her easy layup. Did John Marshall's Elena Meister. Got to be about a six-footer. That foul is on number 24. That's Elena Reyes. The first foul, teams first. They don't have heights on here. The right. I think Reyes got the foul. Also in number 34, Stacy Mullen. Missed the free throw. But JM still gets the ball. 8 4 Falcons have doubled him on the scoreboard. Pass comes in and she dribbled away from the basket. Shots up, it rims out. Rebound taken down by Rice. Well, she's already got about a half dozen boards. Dringenberg's in the game. Regan is a junior with the ball. Rice looks to go to the basket, a shut off, and they want to get it back to Sitsuma, and it's a turnover. 
Brianna Aikens, the senior, brings it up. Pass it right on the block, inside the lane. Back out front, still in the lane. And they're going to call a travel. Rice will inbound it and has a person on her on the inbound. Oh, my gosh. Rice was looking to bring it up the floor, and they collided. That ball's on round number two. Keep no back. That's her first team, fifth. There was no foul call there. Yeah, there was. Sietzema goes right to the basket and scores. She's got five. And the Falcons are up 10 4. <laughs> Again, they tried to do a post entry pass and it's stolen away. Reavers quickly gets in the corner to Rice. That's the key. Got to have quick ball movement here. Williams goes to the basket, has it blocked, gets it back. Passes it on the wing. Nice job. Reavers goes down the middle, but missed the layup. It was a good opportunity there. There's a steal, and a layup is good. I love it, the tenacity. The Dringenberg. There's another steal. Farewell scoring some points off these turnovers. They had an eight point lead. There's Williams. Uses the rice screen, went too far under the basket. Ball went, hit the bottom of the backboard. Here come the Rockets. Another turnover. Rockets come. 12 4. Faribault leads it. And again, we're going to have a foul out here as John Marshall's getting very aggressive on defense. And the eighth grader, Dang, gets. Dinged with a foul. Seats him up, passes it to Williams. Out front to Riaz, back in the game. Reaver swings it on the left side. Nadomic tried to bounce it back out front. It's another turnover. Step back, 10 footers, no good. I don't know what the shooting percentage is here for the Rockets, but it's not very good. They have two baskets. Credit a lot of that for Faribault. They are playing a good all-around game so far. As Sietzema spins into the lane, goes up, and a foul is going to be called on Meister. Second foul on Meister. Two for four for the free throw line are the Falcons. JM is 0 for 1. Williams is going to get a breather. Wright is back in the game. Sheetsum has got that black sleeve on the right knee. Pink tenny, teal tenny. Missed the second one. They're now two for five from the free throw line after going two for their first two. Gordy jinxed. 12-4, Falcons lead at 8.58 to go. This game could be in the 30s. They pass it on the block, she goes up and in. She gets it that deep and is able to get it off the window like that. Otho could have a really good night. It's 12-6. Reyes, up front seats him up. 
Reavers looks to Durbo penetrate, and she threw it under the backboard. Coming back the other way of the Rockets. Get it back on the block. Here's a triple. It's an air ball. Domic catches the air ball. Brings it across midcourt. Over to Reavers. To Riaz. To Sitsuma. Now Reavers. Sitsuma. Good ball movement here. No over dribbling. Well, you got the lead. You don't need to be in a hurry. Sitsuma to Rice. Back to Sitsuma. Goes in the lane. Kicks it out front. There's a three by Reavers. It's no good. Rebound Sitsuma. Back up. And it's good. He's got seven. 14-6. Falcons. Well, you know, there was a famous Golden Gopher who had the initials TT. The guy running the camera has the same initials, TT. Wonder if his middle initial is N. John Marshall throws it in for the triple. And oh my, that was part way down and just popped out. Seatsman gets the rebound. That looked like it was going to go in, man. As Re, yeah, she carried the ball. Good rise. My affair was six turnovers. I got nine for JM. As the eighth grader will hand it off. Here's another three. That one's short. Reyes tried to catch it on the fly and start dribbling. Here's a three. It's no good. Sietzema gets that rebound. She's going to dribble away from trouble. Bring it up. Throw it ahead. But it's intercepted. Nice steal by Sietzema again. Reavers behind the back dribble. Loses the defender. Reyes has it. It's a screen from Rice. Out front to Sitsuma. Swings it on the right side to Reavers. Out front to Rice. The volleyball attack line. Bounces it to Sitsuma. How can it not be a jump ball or something? And the jump ball stays here for the Falcons. In the game for Farrell, number 0, Jamie and Dominic. Reyes is going to sit down. Reavers is going to sit down. Domic's back in the game. They get it into Sitsuma. Williams is back in the game. Domic, in front of the JM bench, tries to lob it into Sitsuma. It gets stolen away. Herbal's lucky they're not converting on these. There's one inside the three-point line, no good. She gets her miss, gets it back out front. Boy, is J.M. cold. And they just turned the ball over. Seven points off turnovers for Faribault, and they're up by eight. No points off turnovers for J.M., even though they've been able to force a few. Dominic's out front. Being guarded by Mullenbach. Got to keep my Mullenbach straight. There's twins, Stacy and Sarah. Layup is missed, but we got a foul underneath. That foul is on John Marshall's number three, Jasmine Dang. That's her second. It's the team eighth. Her two. Going to be on Dang, her second. Ringenbach is at the free throw line, and it's good. Kate Novak steps in, the junior for Dang. She made them both. Four for seven from the free throw line are the Falcons. 0 for one is JM. Of course, they're shooting a lot of threes. You don't get to the free throw line typically when you do that. 
And they haven't made any either. Thought she was going to launch one. Inside the three-point line, a good shot there. Mike Gordon, who else? Ten-point Falcon lead with five minutes to go in the half. They've held the Rockets to three field goals. Dominic. Hit the double high post. Dengenbach will hand it off to Rice. Swings it out to Sietzema. Here's a three by Adamic, and it's no good. Too strong. Goes off of JM out of bounds. Reyes is going to check back in. Sietzema is going to get a breather. Pass comes into Rice on the inbounds play. I love it. They're executing that to perfection, getting that layup on the inbounds pass. It's a 10-point lead. Here's a three. It's no good. Rebound taken down, flying down the floor, but unable to keep control with Dragenbach. Love the hustle, though. Coach Bardall loved it, too. He was clapping his hands. I love to see teams that play hard. And these ladies seem to be doing just that. One of the hardest things, I think, to teach. As Otho will go to the free throw line here. Rice is going to get called for the foul. Rice, that's her first. It's team second. All foul two. Othal's got two points, make that three. Reavers is back in, Seatsum is back in. Rice is going to sit down, Dragenbach is going to sit down. Sarah Mullenbach will sit down for JM, and the free throw's good. Two for three for the free throw line is JM. We've got a timeout with the score, 18-10, Faribault, 404 to go in the half. Now the Faribault Falcons will inbound the ball and they will see pressure from John Marshall up 18-10 is Faribault. And a great job of breaking the press. As Williams gets it behind her, Reyes is three is good. That's her first bucket of the game and it's 21-10. It's a good looking shot. Oh, what a great move. Othal just absolutely lost her defender for that layup. Rebel <laughs> doesn't need to be in a hurry here. And they're going to give a five second call. Wow. Nine turnovers by Faribault in this half. They're up by nine. Otho wants to go to the basket. Had the ball pocket picked by Reavers there. Sietzema picks it up. Twelve turnovers by JM. Sietzema passes it to Reavers. Behind her to Williams. Back to Reavers. And they don't have to be in any hurry here. Coach Birdall, how are the instructions? Right, has thought about another three. Why not? Reavers will shoot the 15-footer to flip. All the starters have scored for Faribault. It's 23-12. Remember, they're without her dog. Their most veteran player. 
she hurt her ankle, as I understand it, in the Albert Lee game, and they went on and won that game by one. Falcons come into this game with two wins, four losses, and there's a turnover again by JM. Rockets are 0 3. Sure, Coach Bardall thinks they should probably have three wins. They've led 90 some percent of the time against Northfield. It's the end of the score that counts. The Seatsma went in for a layup, and there was a block, and Jam's going to get the ball. Minute 36 to go in the half. They can get this to single digits at the half, which I'm sure Coach Max Waring would love to see. The eighth grader back in with her two fouls. As they got a layup on a breakdown on the defense. Mullenbach scored. That's Stacy. Williams has it. Minute nine. Reavers is going to shoot, and it's a three. She's got six, and it's 26-14, back up to a double-digit Falcon lead. It's been impressive. Step through, missed layup. That was a nice move there by Meister, but she couldn't finish. Reavers will bring it up, 40 seconds. Coach Bardall is going to take a timeout, and he's going to take the air. Right out of the ball. Well, let's see what happens after the timeout. Coach Bart, I'll call that he has the double high post. Weaver swings it on the left side. I'm guessing they're going to try and milk this whole clock here not let GM get into that double-digit lead. You score great, if you don't, you still have a double-digit lead. Rice swings it over, Reyes. Bounces it to Sietzema, seven seconds. Now you gotta start getting something going here. Reavers with four seconds, Sietzema with two seconds. Oh, they're gonna get a shot off. No, they don't get the shot off. But Coach Bardall's clapping his hands because they didn't turn it over and they still have a double-digit lead. 26-14 is your halftime lead. The Faribault Falcons on top. They'll be going left to right. Faribault's right to left. Deflected pass goes off the hands of Otho and out of bounds. 14th turnover. And a foul on Williams. That's something that could get JM right back into this. Akins will go to the free throw line. Their first trip there, and it's good. Make this a 10 point game with a made free throw here. And it is. They are four for five from the free throw line. Four for seven is Faribault, and pressure is being put on by the Rockets, and Faribault almost turned it over. And earlier they beat this by throwing it. Tie-up possession stays with Faribault. Rice, Reavers, Williams, Riaz, and Sietzema are on the floor for Faribault. Reavers will inbound it to Rice. Reavers will shoot a three, and it's bang! You got nine. That's a 10-point. Yeah, I was going to say, 13-point lead. 
Shots up, it's no good. Rebound taken out by Seatsma. Good box out there. And I think Meister, well maybe it'll be the other young lady, but one of them will get called for a foul. Akins gets called for the foul. Williams will bring the ball up. Left-handed dribble. It's a Darius. Screen from Sietzema. Sietzema rolls toward the basket. Nice pass to the open Reavers. Reyes. Trying to pass it into Williams and he gets stolen away. Aiken's shot is good. From 15. You're getting more aggressive here defensively. Another bad pass. And a layup is missed. But they get the ball anyway. There's John Marshall. And somebody forgot to cover that young lady and rebounds taken down by <laughs> Reyes. Oh my. Reavers was looking to pass the ball to Reyes and <laughs> shots up, it's no good. Rebound, <laughs> nobody's got it yet. And they got a tie up and a possession arrow goes to JM. Adamic is going to check in. Ringenberg. 29-18, Faribault leads. 15-57 to go in the second half. Shots up, no good, and a foul is going to be called on the inbounds layup attempt by Meister. Meister shoots two shots. Missed it. <laughs> Makes the second one. You got five points. Williams is trying to. They're going to have a foul here on uh, one of the Rockets as Williams from bringing it up the sideline, which acts like another defender. Got herself in a little trouble, but so bringing bringing Berg will inbound it. Williams gets it back. Stay out of that corner. There's in the corner. Coach Bartle immediately called a timeout because this player was in trouble in the corner. And they got a foul call, I guess, before the timeout. Well, let's see what Coach Bart all mapped out here because they could use a hoop. They've only had one basket this whole second half. Pass came into Williams. GM switching a lot. Could you be catching him in a mistake there? Got a foul here. Stacy Mullenbach is number 32. Number 34 is Sarah Mullenbach. That 10 point lead does feel all that comfortable for Faribault right now. Here's another steal, and then she gets it back, but she. Williams over to Reavers. Back to Adamic. 
to Sietzema. They get that ball on the block to her. Williams wide open with Dragenberg under the basket. She didn't see her. Adamic dribbles the top, swings it over. Sietzema has a screen, but she doesn't use it. And calling over and back. Third turnover this half, only one for JM this half. Kind of the tail of two halves so far here. Wow, they call a hold on. Looked like it was a tight ball. We'll be on Reavers. Rice is going to check back in. Reyes is checking back in. Dragenberg's going out. Williams is going out. For the Faribault Falcons, who are up 10, 29, 19. They led 26, 14 at the half. So they've been outscored here. Here's a shot from the free throw. It's an air ball. They save it in bounds right in the hands of Rice. Gets it to Sietzema. Behind her to Reavers. Domic. To Sietzema. They're overplaying uh, players, so somebody got to go to the basket. There's they go to the basket. Blocked from behind. Oh my. Otho's got to be about a six foot or two. Number 23. Dominic has got to inbound it. Does to Sietzema. Layup is no good, but she's fouled again. They are executing that inbounds play to perfection. Gordon gets called for the foul. Sietzema's one for three from the free throw. He has not scored this half. They have one three-point basket this half. That's it as she misses the free throw. And the offense for the Falcons has slowed to a crawl here. Missed them both. Rebound Otho. Terrible's four for nine from the free throw line. As the eighth grader brings it up, shoots the shot, and it's good from the free throw line. Extended left. Reyes brings it up. It's an eight point game. They're right back in it. She's in trouble. Tried to get it to her teammate. It's another steal. It's a layup. <laughs> the Rocket fans are a little upset here. <laughs> it's down to a six-point game. Coach Bardall's probably thinking, I can't have an easy night here. They look like they were going to cruise. But Faribault's offense has gone out the window here. Reavers can't make the catch. That's the sixth turnover this half. Only one for JM. The eighth graders looking to post up here on Rice. And Rice knocked it away, but she got it anyway. That was an illegal screen. <laughs> Number two did an illegal screen there for JM. She was leaning into the person on the screen. That's, yeah, I can't do that. Coach Bardall says, I need a full timeout. Boy, is he right. Well, Coach Bardall senses the same thing I do. They, things aren't going well for his team, so hopefully he's got the remedy there. He's feverishly scribbling on the grease board. And there goes the home run ball to Rice. Rice goes in and misses the layup and wonders why she didn't get a foul call. 
<laughs> uh, pass goes in the right corner. There's a three. It's no good. Rebound. Coming flying in to get the rebound was the eighth grader. Between two Falcons that time. She just wanted it more. Well, she's an athletic young lady. There's that bounce pass layup. It's missed, and a foul is going to be called on Faribault. <laughs> Coach Bartol's kind of shaking his head like I didn't get one on my end. Rice is called for the foul. That's her second is the team's fourth. Rice two shots. Free throws no good. Meister's one for four. One for five. Again, that young lady's got lay, uh, <laughs> rebound after rebound. Seats him on the baseline. Williams is going to shoot an 18-footer. It's no good. Rebound. Man, that young lady can rebound. She jumped right over Seats him at that time. It's tie ball will go to JM. Somebody's got to box her out. And that's exactly what I think what Coach Bardall is going to. Well, maybe he's not going to do that. I thought he was going to bring Seats him out and say, hey, you got to box her out. Pass comes in. To half court. It's a six point Falcon lead. They were up by 12 at the half. And here's another. Ooh, she dropped the ball. Gets it back, passes it way out front. You can wave at some dangerous passes here. And we're going to have a blocking ball on the Falcons. Ringenberg gets called for the foul. Haley Reavers back in. Reavers is back in for her offense. We've been sitting at six points for a while here. 11.39 to go, plenty of time on the block. Meister out front. He's in the lane for a while. And the eighth grader threw the ball off of Williams and it went off her out of bounds. And I guess she was out of bounds when she did it. Be my guess. That's why the, uh, the Rocket fans didn't like it, but I, I thought she was out of bounds. Williams is coming up across the F logo and somebody's got to tell her. Another steal by JM. Seven turnovers in this half for Faribault. They have 17 in the game. And JM's only scored off a couple of them. Unbelievable. You would have told me that, I would have told you you were crazy. The eighth graders played well for JM. They get it on the block again. She's in that lane. She's still in the lane. And they call it. That's the 15th turnover, but only the second this half for JM. Somehow they have just completely not turned it over while Faribault has flipped it the other way. Adamic has the ball. She'll pass it over to Sietzema. Sietzema throws it over to Reavers. Let's see if Faribault can get a decent shot. Adamic, to her right, gets it to Williams. Goes in for the layup. Fouled. That was a nice play. That ball is on the run number 32, Sarah Mountbatten. That's her second, team six. Williams shoots two. Williams makes the free throw. Boy, did they need that. Just the fourth point this entire half. And she made them both. So Williams is going to get a breather. Rice is going to check back in, and somebody's got to get uh, boxing out on those rebounds because Jam's kind of killing them on the glass. 
Mullenbach bought the ball up. Here's a free. It's no good. Rebound again. The eighth grader. In the lane. Shots up. No good. They get it again. The eighth grader shoots a three. It's no good. Rebound. Nice box out there. And she's going to be tied up. And they're going to call her a foul. Reyes got that one. <laughs> going to be Aiken's third. And we're in the bonus, so we'll walk to the other end and watch Faribault hopefully make some free throws because they need that. <laughs> she missed it. I jinxed him again. Shots up, no good. And the eighth grader will inbound it. She's been an impact player this half, that's for sure. An eight point Falcon lead with 10 16 to go. No give and go action. Shots up. It's no good. Rebound taken down. Well, Faribault had it again. The eighth grader ends up with it. That'll be on Riaz, I guess. So Adamic's going to check out, and Williams is back in. Ting misses the free throw. She's only scored two points, but she's had a slew of rebounds, and she was going in there, and they're going to call another foul on Faribault. <laughs> Coach Bardo had both arms up in the air like, really? <laughs> Dominic's going to check in here for Reyes. Game will shoot one one. Missed that free throw. Rebound taken out by Rice. Boy, if Jam had hit their free throws, we'd have a die game right now, probably. I haven't counted them, but. So Reavers passes on the right side to Adamic. To Rice. Rice throws to Reavers. Out front to Sitsama. Right side, it's Williams. Williams turns, gets it out front to Reavers. Bounces it to Sitsama. Uh, I think I'd get her on the block. At least if you turn it over down there, you're not turning it over out front where they can get layup. William, there it is. Layup is, no! She missed the layup, but she's going to go to the free throw line. <laughs> Foul's going to be on the, uh, on Ding, her third. Well, they could use her falling out because she's owned the glass. Williams misses the free throw. Rushed it. Ning's going to get a breather here. and Otho is back in the game. Also in the game is Sarah Mullenbach. And Stacy will sit down. Made the second. Five points for Williams. Back up to a nine point lead for Faribault. Faribault says you can take as much time as you want. 8.57 to go, that clock fast becoming a friend. The pass knocked away by Rice. <laughs> He's a little upset she didn't grab the ball, but hey. Didn't allow the post entry. Close to a five second call. Yeah, I thought so. Only the third turnover this half by JM. Parables had seven turnovers this half. They've had 16 in the game. Also 16 for JM. Pass comes into Rice. She gets it over to Reavers. 
Hands it off to Rice. She'll shoot the three. I didn't understand that. Rebound's going to be taken down by Jam. That was off a quick possession when you're ahead. And there's a pass that she wasn't looking for. It ends up in a turnover. As Williams leaves it behind her, seats on his hands all over the place here. They're in the bonus. If Faribault can hit their free throws, they're going to win this game. If they hit their free throws. Sheetsum is at the free throw line where she's one for five. Make that one for six. Mullenbach got the rebound, brings the ball up. Nobody picked up the dribbler. Oh, the day ever have a mismatch and JM didn't make them pay. They had like a 5-4 girl on a six-footer. Here's another turnover by JM, but they haven't been turning them into points this half. Williams, seats him up. Reavers has it swatted out of bounds. A nice block there by Elena Meister, the sophomore. So Reavers will inbound it underneath the Faribault basket, pass it in the left corner. Gets it back. Oh, she almost had a turnover there as the eighth grader is getting after her. She's got three fouls, though. Seatsum is out front. She's dribbling right and left. And remember, you have to advance the ball, hands it off to Adamic. Adamic. Gets it to Williams. They're overplaying, so somebody's got to flash the basket here. Rice on the right side. <laughs> Coach Pardell wants a long possession here. Bounce over to the friend. The clock is quickly becoming their friend. Rice has it out front, swings it right side to Williams. Williams, a dribble all the way to the other side of the floor, passes it to Adamic. Uh, back to Williams. Williams bounces it on the baseline. The ball got knocked away. That was too far of a bounce pass on the baseline. They're lucky they still have the ball. So Reavers will inbound it again. They line up two at the free throw line. That kind of looked like an inbounds play that we've had when I was a kid. Pass comes way off. <laughs> Seats them up. People go, you're crazy, Cosfell. That was almost a century ago. Eh, not quite. Yeah, they're kind of milking clock here. They're certainly not looking to go to the basket. We have a foul away from the ball. That round of foul, number two, Kate Novak. That's her second. The team, Kevin. Allie Rice will shoot the double ball. So at the free throw line is going to be Rice. Halley has scored one basket in this game. Has not been to the free throw line till just now, and it is no good. Oh, man. It hit the back of the iron and went in. Seriously. <laughs> that was awesome. And that one was excellent. So Halley gets them both. <laughs> 34-23. A little magic on that one. She must have had a joystick there to <laughs> get it to go in. A little give and go action. Missed the layup, but uh, I don't know why Rice didn't grab the ball. She didn't know the ball was coming down. Gravity, my friend. Gravity. 34-23. Terrible leads at 6.23 to go. Rice going to throw it ahead to Adamic. Adamic is going to bring it out and hand it off to Reavers. To Rice, popped out to get the ball. Bounces it to Williams. Williams, couple of dribbles. Gets it back to Rice. Rice goes to the basket. That was a good move. She, she would have used glass. She probably would have scored, but we're going to have a foul here, and that's... Not what Coach Barnall wanted because they're in the bonus. 
and they get to eat into a lead with a clock stop. 5.59 to go. Ball's going to be on a Domic. So Meister's at the free throw line. She's one for five. Made that one. Reyes is going to check in for Adamic here for the Faribault Falcons. It's a 10-point game with 5.58 to go. That clock can't move fast enough for Coach Mardal and the Faribault Falcons. Missed the second one. Rebound Reyes. She'll almost get tied up, and she's trying to get it to her teammate. And does. Sitsuma. It's kind of quick going toward the basket. She had... Rice throws up a free. Sweetsima got the rebound, was going up for a shot, gets blocked from behind, and a foul. See what she get back to making free throws because Riley has made her first one and missed her last five. That's the fourth foul on the young lady who's just been a rebound machine, the eighth grader for John Marshall. Jasmine Ding, and Sitsuma hits the free throw. Her first point this half, she's got eight. Make that nine. Those were big free throws. I'm going to mark that down on my thing. 5.38 to go. My score sheet shots up. No good from Pre. <laughs> Another rebound by JM. Tie up. And the possession arrow stays with the Rockets. 5.29 to go. It's a 12-point lead. Faribault led by 12 at the half. They lead by 12 now. In between, JM had gotten it down to, what, six points. They do not have anybody on the inbounds passer. The pass comes way out front. They get in the middle lane. She tried to go to the basket and was sandwiched by a bunch of Falcons. They're going to call a foul on the Falcons. They have a right to stand there. As long as they're not reaching or anything. But she must have reached. Reyes, her fourth. Missing the free throw is Meister. Two for eight. She's had a lot of practice. Makes that one. An 11 point lead. Seatsum is in trouble. Call timeout. We have a foul on John Marshall. Uh, Dominic's getting ready to check in. That clock is not moving very fast because we're having so many fouls here. <laughs> you know, every 10 or 15 seconds you have a foul. So Seatsum is at the free throw line. Oh, man. Almost didn't raise iron. Nine free throws, shot three made. Verbal was four of seven in the first half. Made that one. Got 10 points. 37-25. Here's a three, no good. Meister rebound. Mullenbach out front, tries to get inside to Meister. She did not. Boy, there were there were three green jerseys around her. I don't know why they tried to throw her the ball. Adamic's gonna bring it up, and a foul's gonna be called. On the rocket, J.C. Nelson, a sophomore. That'll put Adamic on the free throw line. She's not been there yet. That one's good. That was the 16th free throw shot this half by Faribault. They win this game. That's the difference. Free throw line. Because they don't have that many field goals. They have one field goal this whole second half. And it goes in. No fouls, Coach Bardall says. 4.53 to go. They're up by 14. 
Here's a three. It's no good. Rebound to Domic. Nice box out there. She'll bring the ball up. Switch to the left hand. Swing it over to Reavers. They pop out on her. Jam says we need the ball. Seats them up to Adamic. Hands it off to Rice. No, to Reavers. Reavers to Seatsama. 4.15 to go. Bounce pass to Adamic. Out front, Rice. They are effectively milking clock. Seatsama. To Reavers. Now Seatsama passes it to Williams. She'll shoot the three, and it's good! Unbelievable! Williams hits a monster triple with 347 to go. It's 42-25. They looked like they were milking, milking, milking. Who would have thought they would have ended in a three-point shot? And JM can't afford to dawdle here. They got to get going. We're going to have a foul away for the ball again. Going to be on a Domic. That puts Jam at the line with a clock stopped. And <laughs> Coach Bardo was saying no fouls. Oh, I'm sure she didn't try to foul it. Mullenbach missed the free throw and says to herself, how did I do that? She made that one. 42-26, pass comes in to Reavers. Faribault doesn't have to shoot. 3.25 to go, just let them follow you and make your free throws. And they're almost in must foul mode here, JM. They're down by 16. Three minutes approaching to go. I think I'd be fouling. Oh my, that wasn't a foul. She got knocked over. In this game, it looks like the Faribault Falcons are going to pick up their third win when they had not won a game each of the last two years. 42-26 with 3.02 to go. Adamic has the ball and knocked right back toward her. And GM is evidently not going to foul here, but they almost have to. Sitsuma to Williams. They can't let precious seconds tick away here. Reavers to Adamic, back to Reavers. They're letting them stall, I guess. Seatsuma gets it out to Williams, back to Reavers. Seatsuma going to hand it off to Reavers. It's not like Faribault's hit all their free throws here. And then Seatsuma passes left side to Adamic, back out front. Now they swing it over to Williams, who just hit that monster triple. That was a travel, and they did call it. That's the 17th turnover by Faribault in this game. 18 turnovers for John Marshall. Uh, they gotta jack them up here. Meister gets it back in the corner. Here's the uh, eighth grader for three. It's no good, rebound tapped out. And we're gonna have a foul call, I think, on Rice. She was trying to get at the ball. That's her third. So we have more free throws with a minute 53 to go. Jasmine Dang, eighth grader. That was her first make, third attempt. Riaz checks in, Rice will sit down. Might be limping a little bit there. Hope she's okay. Forty-two twenty-eight with a minute fifty-three to go. I don't think there's any way you can lose when you got that kind of a lead with two minutes to go. Especially when they're not fouling. Adamic has it out front. Wants to hand it off to Reavers and does. Reavers off the dribble, gets it to Riaz. Now Williams back to Riaz. 
Uh, she picked up her dribble, and that's kind of a no-no. Gets it out front to Reavers. Doing a nice job now of stalling the game, and a foul's going to be called on J.C. Nelson, her second. Free throw's no good. Reavers will have another one. Missed them both. They've missed eight free throws this half as Faribault. They'd have 50 points now if they made those eight. Here's a three, it's no good. Rebound, uh, put back up, Meister puts it in. Since they had a six point deficit, they have not had much offense either. Uh, Seatsum will get a binder to Adamic. There's 53 seconds to go, it's a 12 point game. Reyes on the left side to Reavers. And Coach Moring says, ah, let's, let's not foul. Let's jump on the charter bus and go home. Yeah, they have a charter bus. The John Marshall Rockets at the attack line at Sitsuma. <laughs> Dribbles away from trouble. 23 seconds to go. Now there's no sense in fouling. Well, she's just going to dribble, 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 dribble. Bounce it over to Reavers. She dribbles it off the foot of the uh, rocket. So it'll go to Faribault. It was off the foot of the rocket. So Williams is, and they're just going to hold the ball. The final score is going to be 42-30. The Faribault Falcons pick up their third win of the season. They're now 3-4. and four.